What is going on, everybody? Uh, got a package in the mail today. Uh, to check it out. Uh, this is for the Vanquish VX410. Uh, our power system, as it were. Bubble wrap. We have another Holmes Hobbies BLE Pro waterproof. And they had the Castle Link back in stock, so I can now program my USC. And in this fancy little box here, something I have never used before. I can figure out how to get it open. There we go. Uh, stickers. Bullets. There we go. And the Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Pro 540 BL 3300KV censored brushless motor. Uh, of course, your sensor wire plugs into your ESC. Uh, I've never used a brushless system in a crawler or trail truck before. Uh, figured I'd give it a try. I've heard a lot of good things about them. These uh, Trailmaster Pros are supposed to be very good low-end control. Uh, we'll see. We're going to try it out. Very nice looking motor. Uh, full ball bearing motor. No bronze bushings like you get with a lot of them. Uh, we'll uh, see how it does. They're supposed to be pretty good. And also, I dug through my little parts box in, box in the back, and I have a Vanquish dig unit that will work with the VS410. Uh, if you're not sure what a dig unit is, what it does is it allows you to free spin the rear axle while you're digging with the front axle. Uh, you can fully lock it, the rear axle, uh, so you're basically dragging it uh, or freewheel it. Uh, it's great for uh, climbing rocks, uh, steep inclines. You don't have to worry about the vehicle flipping over backwards because you're basically taking power out of the rear wheels with this. Uh, does require another servo. I'll have to swing by the hobby shop this weekend, pick up another servo. Uh, need at least, I believe, something around 100 plus 100, 125 inch ounces of torque uh, for this to work properly and your radio has to have programmable endpoints. If your radio does not have programmable endpoints, you're going to burn up servos all day long with this unit. Uh, I also had a blue transmission case and this is exactly like the one that comes in the kit, just anodized blue. I uh, figured I had it laying back here. I'll go ahead and use it with the with the blue dig unit. Uh, and also, not sure if I'm going to use this yet, but I had the Yeti rear sway bar. Uh, it works with this vehicle. I don't know if I need it with this vehicle, but uh, I'll uh, probably check the truck out on the trail first, uh, see how it does. Uh, this will prevent some of the body roll in the rear of the vehicle. Uh, not sure if I'll use it yet. We'll see. Uh, and also, while we're talking about blue stuff, I also have a set of blue OMF wheels. So we're going blue on this truck, uh, simply because I have blue stuff laying around that I've had for a while. Uh, figure I might as well use it. So, uh, that's just a quick update. Uh, can't wait to try out the uh, brushless system. Uh, everybody says they're really good. I've never tried one. Well, we're going to try it here. So until next time, later.